Well, this is it. The final of Players' Championship 9, live from the Robin Park Thank Arena you, in Wigan. The world number one, Michael Van Gerwen, against the three-time major winner, Robert Thornton. A repeat of the Grand Prix final from around 18 months ago. 25. £10,000 to the winner. I'm Dan Dawson to talk you through it. Alongside me, Chris Murphy. Outside of 25. Chris Murphy, the voice of God, it would appear. I'm not sure if that quite comes over on the stream. Have another go. Yeah, it certainly has been tough times for Robert Thornton. Where has this run come from? Look at this. Where is this coming from, Robert Thornton kicking off with a maximum? Well, what a start from the Scotsman. 180 to kick off. He's just beaten Robbie Green. The highlight of that match, a 1-4-1 checkout. Robert Thornton's not had an easy task today. We'll run you through his results in just a moment. But then contrast it to the run that Michael Van Gerwen's had. I'll go first, Dan. Thornton's beaten Steve Lennon, Ryan Searle, John Bowles, Andrew Gilding, Mike Didecker and Robbie Green. Not easy for a man that's been out of form. Never been taken to a deciding leg today, though. So we'll see if Van Gerwen can clean this up. Which he does. And then Dan will tell you what kind of hard work he's had to go through today. MVG has put in some stunning displays. 54. He's just seen off Jan Decker 6-0 in the semi-final, averaging 103, but look, there was 20 points difference in the averages. Decker just didn't really 60. challenge him. But my word, Gary Anderson and Adrian Lewis certainly did. Adrian Lewis took him to a deciding leg. MVG averaged 109 54. in that game. It was even higher against Gary Anderson, the world number two. 114 average from MVG in his 6-4 win. So he's seen off two back-to-back -back world champ champions in back-to-back -back games, averaging around about 110 plus. 104. So you think perhaps he's earned his place in today's decider, but certainly Robert Thornton has as well, and it's been a long time coming, as we said, the first time he's been to the final of a tournament since he beat Michael Van Gogh in that famous World Grand Prix final in 2015. Thornton came out a five sets to four winner. Well, we know he's very capable, Robert Thornton, but I think he's shown today that you just cannot write him off. Last night, he came to the Euro Tour qualifiers and didn't make it through either. He lost to Paul Rowley and James Richardson. And you thought, well, maybe it's going to be another one of these weekends where the Thorn is struggling for form and unable to produce the results that we know he's capable of producing. But look at today. He's just been too good for everybody he's come up against. And now he's up against MVG who's looking at treble 19 for Bull, gets the treble, Bullseye to double his lead, misses it, and the Thorn chance to level the match. Well, Thornton's never been whitewashed in 25 Game matches shot. against Michael Van Gerwen, and he's not about to start now. Lands double 18 to level up the score. Down treble 20s again and gets a couple of them. Well, obviously, that win in the Grand Prix final, I mean, that's one for the history books, and people will... Talk about that for years, 100. Robert Thornton. One of his three major wins, World Masters winner, of course, and the UK Open champion a few years ago. But he's not beaten MVG since then. In fact, he managed to get one draw out of the last six times they've met since then. The rest were all defeats. And he's only had one other win against MVG in the last four years. That was in a semi-final in a UK Open qualifier. He went on to win that day, beat Jamie Caven in the final as Van Gerwen fires in a maximum. Yeah, Van Gerwen's first 180 45. gets him down to 47. All going with throw so far. Game shot. And that is an 11 dart leg for Michael Van Gerwen. Well, he started off with an 11. Threw an 11 there. If he keeps doing that on his throw, well, Thornton is literally going to have to throw a 9 darter to win this game because he's got to find a break from somewhere. Yeah, well, Thornton... Threw his 180 against a throw, didn't he, in the first leg? And Michael Van Gerwen just 
shrugged his shoulders and chucked in an 11 data of his own. <coughs> this is Michael van Gogh's response, by the way, to being beaten in the quarterfinals of the German Darts Open quarter. at the weekend, last weekend, by Ian White, thrashed by White, 6-1. Then turned up at the Premier League and had to hit back to draw with Dave Chisnell. 97 before whitewashing Adrian Lewis, and today he's stormed his way through to the final. 53. Yeah, MVG, whenever he does get knocked down, he tends to come back even stronger. But he was very fortunate against Dave Chisnell in his opening match in Birmingham in the Premier League. Nothing fortunate about his win over Adrian Lewis, though, averaging 110. And that is a 171 from Michael Van Gerwen to apply some pressure to this 84. But double 12 for the Thorn for a level game, and we have exactly that. And the Scotsman holding his own and holding his throw. And you do get the feeling that Thornton thrives in this type of match, taking on the very, the very best. He believes that he is one of the best. And we've seen him prove it on numerous occasions. Said before, Robert Thornton has won more than 20 titles. He's won three big ones, beating the best players in the world at their time. Yeah, and he's proud of that, isn't he? He was talking to us about that at the weekend on the European 55. Tour. Very proud of the fact that he beat the best player in the world in those tournaments on his way to the biggest titles of his career. MVG in the Grand Prix, yeah. Phil Taylor in the UK Open, and he beat Martin Adams on the way to his World Masters title, although it was Darrell Fitton whom he beat in the final. 40. Yeah, and just to highlight Michael Van Gerwen's consistency in reaching the latter stages of tournaments of late. 139. That was the first time in six events that Michael Van Gerwen failed to reach the semi-finals at least when he was knocked out by Ian White last weekend. He had, I wouldn't say a, a shaky start to the year, but it wasn't as dominant as last year. But he seems to have found his way again. He was losing to a few names that you thought well, couldn't really beat Michael Van Gogh at the start of this year, wasn't he? Yeah, there was only eight people to beat Van Gogh in 2017. But you look, and, and some of them are surprising. Double eight. Game shot. Yeah, and Van Gogh in just no. Willie O'Connor, Richie Edhouse. And they're, they're guys who are obviously very capable dart players. But, you know, there are players out there who've failed to beat MVG and they've had time and time and time again come up against him because he keeps throwing darts like this on a regular basis. 180 number two for Van Gerwen. Yeah, he's also had a 171 as well, which is as good as a 180. 177. And this time, he's fired in a 177, which is also just as good. And here, in the scene of the place he hit two nine darters in one match, he's on it again. He's got the tricky treble 19, two treble 20s. There's the first. And the second double 12. There it is! Nine darter, Michael Van Gerwen produces perfection in the final here in Wigan and puts him 4-2 up and two legs away from the title and the £10,000 prize money. And he is in again. Well, this is incredible. 12 perfect darts from Michael Van Gerwen. He fired in two nine darters here in Wigan in a UK Thank Open you. qualifier. He almost fired in back-to-back -back nine darters in a World Championship quarterfinal a few years ago. He's not going to do that. Thank but he has treated us to a moment of magic in this final. Michael Van Gerwen just makes it look easy. And even Robert Thornton, a man who describes himself as a pit bull, he loves, he relishes the challenge of taking on the best in the world. But sometimes this man is just too good for everyone. Wonderful in Wigan, Michael Van Gerwen. We said that Robert Thornton might have to fire in a nine. To beat MVG. But Michael Van Gerwen has stolen the show. Well, now, Robert Thornton does have an outside chance to break. 1 4 2 required. He took out 1 4 1 in the semi final, but he's not going to get a dart. He stayed there for double 11. And now Van Gerwen wants double 8 for 5 2. And double eight is there. A 16 darter for Michael Van Gerwen. Not quite the fireworks of the nine. 
But the world number one has produced perfection here in the final in Wigan. He'd been threatening to do that all day. Well, I was just about to Last time someone chucked in an iron darter against Robert Thornton, he decided to throw one back at them. The World Grand Prix against James Wade. It's about that match. He thinks it's up there with the greatest games ever played, and I hasten to disagree with him. Well, Michael Van Gerwen, he was doing this all the way through his semi-final with Jan Decker, which he absolutely bossed. And despite the fact that he won that 6-0 and was never in any danger of being beaten, he was just demanding more from himself. He could see he was frustrated that he wasn't on the nine more often than he was. He was frustrated when he hit a, a bad shot. He constantly demands more from himself. And that's what's propelled him to produce these incredible performances. Well, look at this. He's setting it up. I think that was his 15th nine data, Michael Van Gogh. And he's hit that many that he leaves that 1-4-4. Doesn't bother going for two one eighties. He likes to get the 19s out of the way. So a nine data to boot. And now he lands double top to take victory in Players' Championship 9. And what a final. What playing, a way to Not win it from Michael Van Gogh. Thank We've you. seen a few nine darters on the live stream on the Pro Tour. But that's the first we've seen in a final. The select few there were here to see it at Robin Park in Wigan. Michael Van Gerwen, the winner, the first man to win more than one Players' Championship title this year. Fairly fitting that he's done that. And we're going to catch a few words with the winner, Michael Van Gerwen, who's going to talk to Dan Dawson right now. Michael Van Gerwen, our winner here today. Michael, you've just beaten Robert Thornton in the final here in Wigan and produced the perfect leg. That's great, of course. Uh, I, I had a feeling today. I had a little bet for Andy Jenkins early on. I gave him even money for a nine out of me today. Only for a tenner, but I won the tenner over him. That's lovely. Uh, you were threatening to do that sort of thing all day, weren't you? Gary Anderson, you averaged 114 against him. Against Adrian Lewis, it was 109. It was somewhere near your top level stuff today. I, I think I played. I had an incredible day. Well, what I produced today, I think it's incredible. So I did a game after game. It's not that you only had a one off game. I did a continue and that's what I like to do and I will be here tomorrow, I want to do it another day. You are still hungry, you still, you, you, there's just this desire to get even better. We saw you today, even in the final, even in your semi, which you bossed against Jan Decker, you were getting frustrated if you hit a bad shot, even though you were completely in charge of the game. Of course, even if you're in charge, uh, I, I'm here to do a good job and sometimes when I let myself down with a bad score or something, you need to concentrate yourself so hard to make sure you don't make any mistakes because I, I have made mistakes in these tournaments and then you get people to beat you and you don't want to be in that position. And Lovely position, played really good today and I hope I can continue this uh, good performance. You've won five titles this year I believe that is now not, not enough yeah not enough <laughs> not enough off to more six <laughs> I, you must no, be feeling you must be feeling confident about your game though. I mean you've, you, the Premier League is going well um, yeah. I mean a great result against Adrian the other night you've gone and battered your way to the title here today you must be I mean what's what's the next step for you the next step uh, it just the, the tournaments I play in I don't play as much as I did last year because I also I'm quite busy, home, building a new house, my wife's pregnant, uh, sometimes I need a rest as well, I'm not a robot, but I'm, I'm doing well and uh, things like this keep me motivating, it's difficult to, to win constantly, but I just want to keep, keep this doing, I love what I do and that makes it a little bit easier. Just a quick word for Robert, because that's the first time he's made a, a final since he beat you in the Grand Prix. Um, it's it's uh, you know it's been a while coming for Robert to get back into that kind of form. Yeah, of course he he did really well today to to reach the finals because people probably don't understand how hard it is. I probably played seven seven games today or whatever it was, and you need to concentrate game after game. And Robert, after such a long time, did really well, and I'm really pleased for him. But I'm really glad I, I can uh, I can win this tournament because. Yeah, I think I deserved it today. I played ph phenomenal and I'm a really happy man today. Yeah, well, it, it was phenomenal from Michael Van Gogh in a perfect leg in the final to beat Robert Thornton, £10,000 to this man. And he's confidently predicting he'll win another ten grand tomorrow. We will see you at Wigan for Players' Championship 10 tomorrow.